Good day everyone, the Global Surveyor here and um, today I'm surveying along a creek, a place called Arcadia. Really nice just to <clears throat> not say much, just listen to the sounds of the water running through the rocks. I could sit here all day. But I have a few things to measure, so come along for the ride. So I've got my Leica GS18 GPS and uh, I've got to climb up this rock here to a mark that I've got some ribbon up there, which is a mark that I found before. Survey mark here. Oh, I've got some paint there, but it's a drill hole and wings in rock, which I'm going to measure now. Okay, so I've got my GPS set up on this mark, and I've tried to clear some of the canopy, although it's not all that easy to do. And uh, I would normally, if I was in a hurry, uh, record this mark using RTK GNSS and take several readings, but I have a little bit of time up my sleeve. So, again, I'm gonna log some static data. See, I've, I've named my file day three because it's the third day I'm out here on site. And because it's under thick canopy. I'm going to log for about 15 minutes and process, post process it back in the office. The rucksack, got my field book. Hear the sound of the water, the creek in the background, which I'll check out a little bit later. The sounds of nature. And also the office for the lucky few who get to be in places like this. Oh, that's right. If you're a surveyor, it's almost every day. On my Leica CS20 controller, we have a sky plot of the available satellites at this moment in time. 30-odd satellites, mostly to the west, some to the east, and um, considering the place that we're in, it's not too bad. If you can see line of rocks here. That's a survey mark. And then there's another line of rocks just there. In Australia we call that lock spits, or sometimes they call it rock spits. And surveyors put these rocks on the line of the boundary direction to help you find boundary marks like this one. Made my way a little bit further down the creek. Again, more static surveying. Pretty much that's all we're doing today. And we've got a drill hole and the wings in the rock, which is a corner. So there's another wing there. So the boundary runs this way and along there. So basically there are two blocks of land, one here, one here, oh, and there's one here as well. There is a survey reference mark 
somewhere over here, which I need to find. Which I'll have a look for now. I knew it wasn't too far away. It's actually just up on top of this rock here. Drill hole and wing. The wing's pointing this way, which is a bit misleading. However, it's referenced to this corner. There are worse places to be. Big tree. Here's another mark. Not easy to see. Another rock mark. Drill hole and wings. It's on a boundary. Boundary line running up that way. Out this way. Through there. There's the creek. Again, extremely peaceful. Come to the end of the boundary line and we've found a chain wire fence, which is always good. And placed a drill hole and wing that I placed a few weeks ago now. Just sort of come back and re-measure it there on the rock. Again with a Leica GS18 and we're recording the information statically which enables us to post-process the data later on. Australian bush. It's an angophora tree there. Or maybe an apple gum, sometimes people call it. Such a beautiful place. Oh, so we just climbed from the bottom of the creek, which is down here, all the way up this hill, steep cliff line here, and uh, looking for a mark. I, I'd, I'd measured around here before and did a few calculations, and um, with a bit of clearing, I found the remains of a hole which is quite random really because there's no wings either side of it so I'm not really sure if it's a boundary mark or not but the fact that there's the remains of a star picket here and a bit of fencing suggests that someone had some rough idea where the boundary was or the boundary line So that's possibly positive. I'm going to have a good uh, look around, but I think I'll measure this and see how we go back in the office. Glad I don't have to climb back up there anymore. That was quite exhausting.
We're at another fence corner here. I've got the GPS measuring. And the thing is, I don't know 100% where the boundary is, although it's a fence in a section, so we'd almost be 100%, almost 100% certain that we're at the corner. But uh, as a matter of good practice, before I come back here on another day, save yourself a bit of time, put in a uh, survey reference mark. And it's a bit hard to see because I've got the pole on here, but I've got a GI pipe placed into the ground there, which will act as my reference mark to this corner. And once I've measured to that, done a few calculations, I'll be able to reference that pipe to the new corner, which hopefully will be somewhere near this fence post.